In this session, we'll go over the WordPress WYSIWYG editor used to create your posts and pages. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. This session also contains information about creating links within your page or posts. The editor has two panels. One is called visual, which is basically what your page will look like to your visitors. And the other is a text panel, which shows you the HTML code used to create your page. First, let's go over each of the tools that are available to you. The first icon you should know about is the icon that expands your tool set. Normally, when you first start, your toolbar looks something like this. Not all the tools are visible. To expand the tool set, click this icon. Now you will see all the tools that are available. The first three icons deals with the treatment applied to your text. The first is bold, the second is italicize, and the third is strike through. There are two more icons that deal with treatment of your text and they are on the second line or the expanded tool set. One is underline and the other one is text color. To use any of these five icons, you must first highlight the text affected and then click on the desired treatment. Or click the icon and then anything you type after that will have that treatment applied to it. You can toggle these treatments on and off by simply clicking on the icon. These two icons allow you to create bullet point and number lists. The next icon you see here is called a block quote. A block quote is some text you wish to highlight on your page. Normally it's a main point or quote you wish to include to catch the reader's eye. A block quote will have special treatment applied to it based on the template you're using. The next three icons deals with justification of your text. You're able to left justify, center, or right justify your text. You can also right and left justify your text by using this icon. Something to note here is that you don't need to highlight all the text you wish to justify. When justifying text, it will apply the entire paragraph all at once. All you need to do is click within the paragraph and then click the desired justification icon. The next two icons deal with creating links on your page. To create a link, you simply highlight what you wish to, uh, to be a link, and then click the create a link or insert a link icon. Now you can either provide a, a URL and a title and the title is optional, but it's recommended to improve your search engine op uh, optimization. Now, check this box if you wish to have the link open a new tab or window. This is highly recommended if you're linking to another site. Now, if you want to link to a page or a post within your site, you could simply click this and then search for the page you wish to link to and then click add link. Now to remove the link all you have to do is click this icon to unlink it. One other thing you can do too is you can link by typing in a URL on your page. So if I type in www.sawrite.net you'll notice it automatically turns it into a link. To link to a graphic you simply click on it and then add your link and now that graphic has become linkable. The next icon is the more icon. This is used to break your post if you don't want the entire post to be displayed during searches or on post lists or on your blog page. You do is place where the more is going to go and that's where it's going to break. Then when your visitors come in, in click on more, 
they'll see the entire post. The next icon is used to switch to full screen editing. The format drop down allows you to set format for a given text. And this is good for setting up subheaders and headers on your, your, your page. The next two icons, these two icons here, are used for inserting um, or pasting text into your uh, posts and pages. The first icon is used to, to paste plain text and the second icon is used to paste word text or from a word document and it's extremely important to use this tool when pasting from word. Word places are a lot of controls around the text that only Internet Explorer can interpret. This icon is used to remove formatting from a string of text. This icon is used to insert special characters into your content. An example would be a trademark symbol or copyright symbol. The next two icons are used to back tab and forward tab your text. And finally, you have undo and redo icons. I hope this helped you better understand the WordPress editor. I recommend that you play with each of these tools so you get a better understanding on how they work. For more WordPress how-to videos, visit us online at www.sawrite.net.